Hello everyone and welcome back to LM Simulation here on YouTube. So I'm back in Train Sim World 2. Um, it's been quite an interesting time for Train Sim World 2. We've got lots of uh, new announcements, new routes coming such as the Harlem route. Um, stuff like that I'm looking forward to but um, there's been a lot of negativity in the comments towards the Harlem route. So I'll have to wait and see on a lot of the uh, Dota Games items that are going to be coming out in the near future. Um, but we have got um, a whole new sort of area to explore. Um, now, uh, just before I talk about this, uh, which is the subject of this video, uh, I just want to say that Great Western Express, which you can see there, uh, is having a big upgrade worked on at the moment. Um, something I'm very looking forward to, they're upgrading a lot of the systems on it. Uh, if you can probably remember, Great Western Express is actually from Trains in World 1. Uh, it was one of the launch routes, actually, for the game. Um, and it was, um, I must admit, it was absolutely fantastic. I really enjoyed it, but it just wasn't immersive enough. Um, there were there were you know numerous issues that I could outline. Um, the route felt quite short as well. Um, didn't give that much variation. For example, if you did a high speed train, um, you pretty much can only do two services, and that's uh, either Slough and Reading on a uh, on a service up the Cotswolds, or you just did Reading, um, which is on any other service. Um, so I'd, it probably should have been. Um, I I will admit that it probably should have been. Um, extended up to Oxford at least that would have given us something else to do given us a little bit more scope for freight that you could do up to Didcot Yard um, giving you a lot more scope for service but uh, unfortunately it wasn't done so uh, we can only wait and see I don't think it'll ever be extended that far I think it's just going to stay now between Reading and, and London it's not it's not the brilliant the most brilliant route in the world but it is having a very very large upgrade that is being worked on at the moment and um, there is no ETA for this at the moment so we just got to wait and see but I will be reviewing that in full once it is out uh, it does include a full upgrade to the PIS systems new uh, new sort of uh, bits and bobs sounds uh, visuals all, all of it basically bringing it up to Trains and World 2 standards so uh, I really do look forward to that when the time comes anyway so the subject of this video is not West Cornwall local um, it is in fact the Creator Club, which you can see here. Um, so the Creator Club is currently in beta, as it tells you. Um, so the Creators Club is basically being a uh, enabled so that um, it gives you um, much like a Steam Workshop type integration into Train Sim World 2, which is something that we've been after for quite some while. Um, you know, we've been having a lot of ability to create liveries and stuff, but nowhere to share them. It's been something that you can do privately, but not collaborately as, as a group of people. Um, you can share your, your creations with other people, you can drive other creations that people have made um, and you can do scenarios, there was no scenario sharing or, or anything like that this is essentially a Steam Workshop for Train Sim World 2 so essentially they've got away with the Steam Workshop, they don't want to do that they want to do something in house that, that, that is going to be just as good as the Steam Workshop uh, they did have a lot of issues in Train Sim 2022 with the Steam Workshop with the integration of that into the core system of the game I think now we've moved over to Train Sim World 2 um, rather than and, and onto this new engine uh, they'd rather do something of their own so let's have a look at this Creators Club this isn't going to be a review this is simply just going to be a here you go this is what it is and this is what it's all about so this is more of a let's play um, and explore a new feature here in Train Sim World 2 so let's uh, let's go on um, first thing I will mention very very briefly is this little green um, symbol at the top here so that means you are signed in to Dovetail Live um, now you will need to be signed into Dovetail Live uh, in order to be able to explore Trains in World, uh, Trains in World 2's best sort of facilities and options and stuff like that. You don't have to be; it's not a not a paramount thing. Uh, you've got Dovetail Live down here. You can have a look at some of the latest articles, check your progress, do stuff like that, basically. Um, but you do need to be logged in. That does need to be green in order for you to be able to use the Creators Club. Now it is in beta, but it is an open beta to everyone that is playing the game now. Uh, and as soon as they've refined all the uh, slight issues and glitches, I'm sure we'll be coming out of beta. Anyway, mm -hmm. let's have a look into the Creators Club. Mm -hmm. So here we go, this is where you start off with the Creators Club. It tells you how much gigabytes you've got available, um, all, all of the information. This is basically taken from Dovetail Live, so you will need to have a Dovetail Live account in order to do this. Um, so the Creators Club is essentially a opportunity for other people to create reskins, uh, liveries as they call them, scenarios. Um, and you can also upload your mods, um, and these are your subscriptions which you've downloaded. Now, uh, we might be doing some mods and stuff way further down the line. I'm not au fait with creating scenarios in Trains in World 2. I think I've done it once. 
Um, I've, I've not really done it on a on a big scale yet, unfortunately, but um, it's still uh, still something I'd like to see. So um, essentially, I'm going to teach you a little bit about how it works, what you can do, um, what the options are, and, and where we really stand. So this is the hub. This is basically your homepage. This will show you sort of featured, most popular, most recent, uh, all stuff like that, basically. Uh, and it will allow you just to have a uh, allow you just to have a, a brief look into everything. You can see someone there. Someone's created a Mersey rail train out for three one three. Uh, a lot of people are doing various different deliveries, such as for Ukraine uh, and the uh, atrocities that are happening over there at the moment. My heart out to them. Um, Advantage West Coast Pride livery uh, on the Class 395 Javelin. Now that does look a little bit weird, but <laughs> um, I'm sure that is a, quite an acquired taste. Um, but it's um, in, in terms of on the 395, I think it probably suits the Pendolino a lot better. But that's, that's a stunning, stunning livery that they've done on that. That's a lot of work that's gone into that. And obviously, you've got some rusty liveries and stuff like that for the uh, FF, F7 that you can get in various different routes, as well as lots of different German stuff as well. Um, so if I go into the first tab, which is deliveries, uh, we can have a look here at probably some of the most popular liveries that are available at the moment, most recent liveries that people have created. Um, people who do individual liveries, for example, we can get a 508 here, or a 507, or a 508 120 with the mask on it. <laughs> you can do so much on this, you really can. Um, it's, it's brilliant. So um, probably one of my favourite here is the Class 377 in the NHS. It's extremely popular that one. Um, so a lot of people have um, have been wanting to get stuff like that. Um, and obviously you can just have a browse. Uh, and if you don't see anything you like, you can click this button and it will load up some more. As you can see, people have done uh, various different liveries, like a retro Class 314 in the uh, in the SPT colours. Um, you've got Southern 150 over there, which does look a bit weird. Um, and you've also got, you can explore some more here, for example, you've got a Class 395 acting as a Class 800 there in Great Western Railway. And you've also got a GWR 387 there, actually, that looks really, really, really good, I think. That's, uh, that's been done very well, actually. Um, so, given these are just done using the basic reskin tools, I think they are very, very good indeed. Um, anyway, so let's have a look in the, in the scenarios very quickly. Um, so a lot of these will, um, obviously they'll require you to have the reskins that have been made for them. Uh, for example, there is a reskin for the HFT to put it into first group colours, first great western colours, and there's a reskin for the 166 to put it into first great western colours as well. Um, obviously there's various different other things, you've got the GWR 387 here, um, that does look quite weird in Reading being unelectrified, but hey. <laughs> Um, you can have a look through all the scenarios and just basically flick through them and see anything that you like here. Um, now, if you um, want to have a look and uh, want to sort of search something, say, oh, I, don't, I don't know, I want to do a scenario with a Class 37. Uh, you can press the search button down here and it's going to search for liveries. So if I type in Class 37 uh, and then press the Enter button, uh, it should come up. Press the Enter button, there you go. With all the 37 sort of liveries that have been created, um, just bear in mind that because it's got 3.7 in it, it's going to come up with 3.7 three seven seven stuff as well. It needs a bit of refinement. So for example, here you've got a BR Green Class 37, you've got British Rail, Regional Railways, the Weathered BR, BR Rail Freight, loads of different liveries that people have done. Obviously, large logo, look at that, that looks fantastic. Um, you know, and then people have done Colas as well and stuff like that, it does look good indeed. You can also have a look at scenarios, this will, um, this will show you sort of Class 37 scenarios that have been created. Um, there aren't very many at the moment. Uh, as I say, this is in beta. Uh, there are probably more than this in terms of Class 37 scenarios. Um, but uh, it's mainly because it's 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 not taking the text that I'm typing um, as per as per the items in in the scenario. It's taking it just for the title. So if someone doesn't write Class 37 in the title, but they've done a 37 scenario, uh, it won't show up here. So it does need a bit of refinement. It needs to have more values. Um, to sort of flick through when it's searching using these sort of quantities um, so there is little things like that that need to be refined but it's only minor things at the moment so if you see something that you want to subscribe to um, say I'm going to do a livery in this circumstance say this GWR class 387 that looks very nice indeed so let's double click on that you can have a look through the photos that have been taken on it now as you can see some of these are quite low quality at the moment um, these I believe are going to be sort of worked on, as you can see. Um, this doesn't mean the reskin is low quality. I mean that the sort of the quality of the images is, is low quality, even though these were taken in full sort of 1080p. 
Um, as you can see, you can have a little flip through all the design here. I think it looks very nice indeed. <coughs> so you've got a little um, sort of description here that's been done by the scenario mm. author. Uh, sorry, mm. the uh, the author of the uh, mm. reskin, Soggy Flannel. Um, so he's looks like he's got about 16 uploads onto the uh, onto the system already. So he's done quite well here. Um, so if you want to uh, subscribe to download, you can simply mm. press this subscribe to download button. Now, if you uh, left click on this, it will then uh, should. Hopefully, there you go, come up with subscribed. Now, um, I will mention one very, very quick thing. <coughs> when I was first looking through the Creators Club, when it first came out, um, I was clicking this subscribe mm. button for days and days and days, and it would just come up with that little sort of toggle thing where it's just going round and round and round in a circle, um, and it never stopped. Um, now, a, a simple fix to that is you've just got to sign out of, uh, to sort of exit, exit the Creators Club Go on to the sort of the main menu, sign out of your Dovetail Live account, uh, exit the game, restart the game, sign back into your Dovetail Live account, and then go back into the Creators Club, and it will work like normal. It's simply a bug. Um, obviously, this is in beta, so uh, there's no nothing can be really said for that. Anyway, there we go. We have got the GWR class three eight seven. So if I press back and go into subscriptions, this will show you what I've got subscribed to at the moment. Now I've subscribed to quite a few. A, a, a fair fair few bits at the moment. Now, for example, this class 377 in the NHS livery, I think this looks very nice indeed. We are going to have an explorer of that today um, because it's obviously very popular. I think it looks very good, um, very topical as well. Um, so we're going to have a brief look at that and see it in action. Um, so this basically shows you all the mods that you subscribe to at the moment. You can see there's our GWR class 387. And we've also got the Northern Unbranded 150. We've got Southern. X Great Northern 387, 66720, which I've seen, that looks quite good. Now we've got 37 down here, the old Northern 150. Yeah, so we've got a fair few bits at the moment, we're doing quite well. Um, anyway, let's go into my mods. So if you want to upload a modification that you've done, you simply click the plus button, um, and then you can go through and upload whatever modifications you have created. Obviously, that's that's going into a little uh, into it a little bit too far. I've not actually explored this area yet, but this is where you would go to you go here for scenarios and here for liveries. Anyway, so let's explore uh, the class 377 uh, in the um, NHS colours, which is what we were going to be doing. So essentially, once you subscribe to something, and you can see it in your listings here, for example, here's the 377 in the NHS livery, uh, simply press back. This will bring you to the main page. Now, uh, what routes are the 377s on? So they're on London Commuter. They're also on... Um, on the other one as well, that I can never remember. <laughs> I'll find it in a minute. Uh, where are we looking? Isle of Wight, Sun Patch Grey, London Underground, East Coastway, there you go, for example. They're on East Coastway as well. Um, so uh, we're going to do a brief one on East Coastway. Um, just have a little explore of it. Uh, so if I press explore and then go to timetable um, and then have a look for East Coastway 2020, um, hopefully. Or maybe not, it might not show up for this. Um, so it depends on what 387, sorry, 377 has been used. Um, I believe the one that that reskin was based on was the 377 for um, the London to Brighton route. So we'll have to exit out of this because it won't let us use it in this for some reason. That's a little glitch, so it's good to show you that. Um, so we need to now go back to, where are we looking? London Commuter. Go to Explore, Timetable. Let's have a look. Yes, here we go. Right, so this is the 377 that we were just looking at. Now, if you press or sort the Q button, uh, it will come up with all the reskins that you've got for it. So we've only got one, and that's the NHS reskin. Uh, don't ask me what's happened to that Great Northern one, X Great Northern. I'm not too sure. Uh, I'm not going to question that for now. Um, I'll, I'll have to have a look into that at a later date. As I said, everything's in beta at the moment. It's not going to work perfectly. Some reskins are just not going to show up in the game. Uh, nothing I can really do about that. Anyway, so let's turn it into um, a bit of a cloudy day uh, in March, and we're going to do a very, very, very brief scenario. Um, let's have a look here. Yeah, this one here, this seems like a good one to do. London Victoria to Horsham. And we're going to take this as far as East Croydon. So now we're going to explore the Creator Club in the game and how it actually shows in the game. Um, basically, you'll be able to see your creation come to life or somebody else's creation come to life. It's very, very simple. So let's load into London Victoria. Uh, it should load here. Here we go. Drive this southern service from London Victoria to Clapham Junction. 
right, there we go. Let's have a look here. I'm just going to turn the game sound up a little bit. Wants us to unlock the doors. Um, I'm going to set the uh, everything up quickly. Just make sure that we're. Hey, there's a uh, four six five. Anyway, here we go. This is the three seven seven in um, the NHS colours. So you've got the normal three seven sevens over there. Ah. There's that one. Oh my gosh, you've even got a GWR 387 here. What on earth? Why is there a GWR 387 at Victoria? Why are there two GWR 387s at Victoria? Um, that's the only glitch with this system. It really doesn't know what to do. But there you go. You just did see the X, um, uh, the X Southern Thames Link one over there. You can see there's a, um, there's actually a Gatex one over there as well. we'll just presume that 387 is on lease to Gatex. <laughs> bit weird why that's there anyway we're here to see this one this is the uh, NHS 377 as you can see here got the NHS we thank you key workers supporting key workers there you go so this is the Horsham train Southern we're with you there you go looking good indeed anyway so let's do this little drive just to sort of finish up this video so it wants us to open the doors which is what we're gonna do also make sure we've got the uh, headlights on day running. There we go. That's good. Uh, are we an 8 car unit? I think we might be. We'll wait till 8.25. Let's just make sure we're an 8 car unit. And I think we are. So quite far, yeah. Quite far on the front here. We'll get a nice little screenshot once we get to Clapham. Of our... Um, oh, I wonder what it's doing. I'm going to close the doors just because it's, uh, I think it's got a bit stuck there. <laughs> there you go. Lovely. Right, so let's go forward. Let's have a look outside. Here is our 377 leaving London, Victoria. Please keep personal belongings with you at all times. Any unattended baggage will be removed and may be destroyed by security services. There we go, off we go. Ah, oh, so we're racing another one out. That's interesting. There we go. So there will be a lot of reskins in this scenario because we've got a lot of reskins installed um, for various different 387s, 377s, and whatnot. So this is the NHS one, as you can see. Looking good indeed. And there it is again. <laughs> Uh, it's the only thing that we're going to have an issue with here is that uh, it doesn't take into account that a livery is a livery and there's only one of them. Um, it will just have it on any AI service it wants to because it's installed. Um, so it's never going to be a perfect system, but I must admit it, it is good. And I can't grumble. I really can't grumble. Um, so essentially, now you've got your reskin installed, you can fully enjoy it and do your scenario as you please. Let's have a look here, just get a nice little photo of our uh, LHS 377. And we get a nice sword picture. And there we go. So that is the NHS 377 installed from the, well, what was the Steam Workshop, what is now the Creator Club here on uh, Train Sim World 2. So there we go. Do hope you've enjoyed that. That's a nice little brief uh, tutorial on how to uh, to get that done um, and a sort of a review of the uh, NHS Class 377. It does look fantastic. I mean, it's not going to be AP standard, but it does look good. And I'm very happy with that. Anyway, so there we go. That is how to install. That is how to use the new Creators Club, which is available here um, on 
Trains and World 2 and I'm very happy to, to bring this to you and be able to showcase the wonderful work of our fellow Trains and World developers who are working very hard to make this such a great simulation, that is for sure. Anyway, thank you very much for watching, I will be back with another Trains and World video very very soon I'm sure. Uh, we are going back to the world of trucking next week, back to Euro Truck Simulator 2 for our, uh, our monthly uh, trucking diaries. Um, after that we have got Farming Simulator, it has been a delayed a little bit because I am quite busy at the moment. Um, but I am hoping to be able to bring you some more content very very soon. But I will be back, don't worry, just keep an eye on my YouTube channel and everything else. But for now, have a wonderful rest of your day, evening, wherever you are in the world. It's been brilliant to bring you this uh, Trains and World sort of tutorial tonight and uh, do take care. If you do have any questions, please do list them in the description. I'll be more than happy to ask any, uh, answer any of your questions that you do have below. But in the meantime, do take care, all the very best, and see you in the next video here on LM Simulation. All the best, take care, and ta -ra.